Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to shoot out. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Pixel Pro Audio's Unfiltered. I'm Tay. This is David, and that is Jay. Today, we're going to shoot out. Shoot out. Uh, some of the best Tom microphones Budget. out there. Budget microphones. That is the Sennheiser E604 mm -hmm. and the Avantone Atom mic, A T O M mic. Avantone. Every time. Avantone. Every well, time. Every what are you going to do? <laughs> uh, so we have sound samples of these microphones. Uh, we're going to play for you right now and then we will talk about them. So enjoy this. All right, guys, uh, let's kind of do a comparison here um, of the Sennheiser E604s versus the Avantone Atom microphone. He's getting it. He's getting um, it. <clears throat> we had this week, next week, he won't be able to say Avantone uh, oh, anymore. Later today, he won't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Avantone. Uh, we had both uh, right next to each other pointed at the same spot uh, using their own clips. So let's talk about that process uh, first. Uh, you we, you know, the this was the PK one? Yep. Um, for the Avantone, um, and then the Sennheiser has their own um, clips. <clears throat> Excuse me. The, um, I think it's like the MHZ604 or something. I think you're right, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so those, you know, for, for both of them, you can buy them separately in case you break one or somehow uh, don't have one. Um, and then uh, I like the Sennheiser a little bit better um, than the Avantone, but the Avantone is built like a tank. Those clips are like... Why do you uh, like it better? Why the the E six hundred four? Because of the um, versatility, you can move it up oh, and okay. down. Yeah. Oh, you like the cl the clip? Yes, better. the clip. Okay, gotcha, sorry, gotcha. The clip I like better because you can position it in more spots than the Avantone one. So, as a drummer, do you want to have control over where the mic is? Yes, absolutely, one hundred percent. You're never going to get that from me. Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you I can, nope. <laughs> you can get out of here. <laughs> I want it like you know, if this was the drum, I want it way over here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but no, I want it. I want it out of the way because I've I've hit you know. As a drummer, you hit Tom mics. You always do. Um, so both of these are uh, microphones are built pretty well. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the Atom mic is a little bigger, and it gets in the way, and I'm gonna hit it. So <laughs> um, he's honest. Pre prepare for multiple takes. <laughs> I even, you know, it, depending on you know what we show here, uh, I think uh, I might even hit the clip or hit the microphones in the in the yeah in the take. Yeah, at least once. There were there many takes. <laughs> so, um, David and Jay, talk about the clips and the positioning quick. Go ahead, Jay. Uh, what do you want me to say about it? I don't care. Do you like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, do I like what? The clips? Yeah. As an engineer, do, do the clips and the positioning? No, it's well established that I hate the clips. For both of them? <laughs> no, for live sound, they're great. For studio work, I prefer mic stands because I don't like the resonance and vibration and all the things that come along with having the microphone attached to the drum. Yeah. I, you know, it's like we use shock mounts for a reason. Did you notice uh, anything here in the sound samples? No, it didn't stick out to me that you guys did it that way. I didn't know. You guys told me that after the fact. Uh -huh. But it would have okay. sounded better without the clips. Okay. You just, just got to know how to get your drums. I mean, that's, that's it. Well, yeah, that's that's why, why do I want to do that? <laughs> and so you do you gate tom microphones because you don't want you know the other mics and the snare 
bleeding in, right? Yeah. So um, it's mostly the symbol bleed that's just okay. atrocious. Yeah. Um, I usually gate mine too, but yeah, you can. Your toms become underheads if you don't gate them. Underheads. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's true. They do. Yeah. And it, it's. <clears throat> and if you have a tom that's attached to the kick drum, that's even worse. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Then I will use a mic stand. Yeah. Yeah. So, my old set had that. Yeah. Awful. I think you recorded that. That. Uh, Old Tama rock star I had. Yeah. That was cool. What was it? <laughs> <laughs> my old kit had that too. My crush does not. Thank God. I love yeah. it so much more not having it attached. Yeah. Yeah, it, it really cleans everything up. Mm-hmm. It's nice. So when you were setting up the mics um, on the toms, what mm-hmm. did you think about the clips? Um, I like the, the sturdiness of the Avantone one. I didn't like that it's not very adjustable, but they, they kind of make the clip and the mic a decent size so that way it's always able to point at the center of the drum okay which is where you should point your tom mics by the way um i'm gonna be right back you guys keep talking is he just really gonna okay Okay. (coughs) um Um, mm -hmm. yeah and as far as the the 604s i I love those clamps um super easy to work with and it's really easy for me to put the mic in a spot where it's not going to irritate the drummer yeah which is always a thing because uh um we want those microphones, you know, Out as far <laughs> away from the drum as possible. Although, so I will say that you need, to, as a drummer, you need to work with the engineer because um, you ultimately want the best sounding uh, recording. Um, I think I think Jay went into the other room to get these clamps, and they're not even in there. That's true. It's a true story. <laughs> I I knew that's exactly why he was getting up. <laughs> And they're not even in there. So yep. um, I'm going to, I'll flash the pictures of them. Let's yes. talk about the sound of these microphones. Uh, w- did you find one better than the other? And if so, why? Mm. That's a good question. Very well put. You want to go first? Or you want me to no, go first? you go first. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to describe the sound of each first. Yes. I thought the Avant tone, the Atom, was a bit darker. Um, it had a lot more low end, which was more fun to listen to. Um, and I thought the 604 was more focused than low end, where it didn't have as much low end, but you could kind of choose where you want to boost. Okay. That's why I would prefer to use the 604 in a studio setting, because I'm not stuck with the EQ curve in the bass boost that's already there. I can choose where I want to boost the bass and where I can find that fundamental frequency of the tom. Okay. So there's more for you. Yeah, there's more options. Like... I'll have to do less carving and more just like <clears throat> tuning the drum with EQ essentially. Okay. Yeah. Um, I also liked the form factor of the 604 better because I can get a better performance out of a drummer. Yeah. Yeah. And ultimately, <laughs> I, I think that's the most important part is getting a good performance. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah. You know, as an engineer, I think you should work with the drummer on where you know, they want the microphone and then have the drummer practice or figure out how to work with that microphone in that position. I think that's yeah. pretty crucial. Um, so drummers, you know, you're going to have to uh, concede if you if you don't like a, a certain position. Jay, what did you think about the microphones and what, which one would you prefer? Well, that's a good question. I think that the answer to that question depends on who you are. Um, I think if you're a live sound guy, um, and you have the budget to spend, you know, twenty dollars more per microphone. Mm-hmm. Then I would go with the six hundred fours because they're smaller, they're just more compact. And if you're doing live sound, I think that that makes a lot of sense. Um, and I would say, even in the studio, I'd probably pick the six hundred fours for for a lot of the same reasons. To me, they sounded very similar. I could work with either microphone, honestly. Yeah. Um, I didn't think there was a huge glaring difference. I think when you get into a lot lot of like low end budget Tom microphones, Mm -hmm. sure has a bunch of those. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, CAD has a bunch of low end Tom microphones. Those don't sound very good in my opinion. Like those those sub $50, sub $60 microphones don't sound good. And so for me, the Avant Tone one is really impressive coming in at $89 um, and being a totally serviceable studio or live sound top microphone yeah that's my opinion i think it's i was very impressed with it at that price point it's probably the the cheapest best sounding microphone i've i've heard for toms where i would actually use it so i'm gonna go ahead and agree with that completely and say that 
just based on feel of the mic, I was very impressed that it was only 89 bucks. Yeah, it's a solid, solid build, yeah. lots of metal. So yeah, I, e, I, e604 is 109.99. Mm-hmm. 109.95. 95. Excuse me. Yeah, 95. Excuse me. Yeah. So I mean, to me, I'd spend a little bit extra and get the 609s probably personally. 604s. 604s. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those two. I got you guys. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> There's there are you know a lot of different model numbers that can get quite confusing. Yeah. yeah. And then I guess when you just call a microphone ATOM, it maybe gets a little easier. Yes. Yeah, you give it an actual name. Yeah, because <laughs> um, yeah, Sennheiser has the 604, 609, 906, 904, and yeah, so on. 602, and so 902. Yep. Yeah. It gets a little brutal. But, uh, yeah, Avantone is doing the right thing. You got the Mondo kick drum. You got the Atom Tom mic. Mm-hmm. Um, they don't have, the, you know, the repertoire of the Sennheiser models, but uh, it's fine. They're getting yeah. there. Mm-hmm. I, I agree. I think, uh, Jay, they, they did sound very, very similar. And as a drummer, um, I know I deferred to you guys to talk about that, uh, the sound, but I think they did sound very similar. I liked both of them. Yeah, so. especially when you put them in the mix with overheads and everything. Like, they mm-hmm. were both very serviceable microphones. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, yeah. we want to know what you guys think. If you have one or the other or if you have both, if you're an engineer with the studio, uh, let us know um, which one you prefer and why. Um, and I think we'll probably um, – let this episode roll out with um, uh, like a full take just so you guys can hear it again uh, and, and the comparison of them. So thanks guys. And we'll see you around the drum next time. That was really good. Yeah. Should we do the other ones? No, you're good. Let me, let me blow my nose quick. <laughs> well, we're done, I think. Aren't we? What are we doing? Are we done? Okay. Do we have to? One more episode. One more episode. Based on the whole thing, was that good? It was. The only thing he didn't say was Tom microphone, but... I think it's fine. Okay. It's fine. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> this is when you it's shake beginning. this is when you shake and rattle and then this is where i take forever to do an roll intro. and i'll just sit here looking be- beautiful and mm-hmm. not being able to talk <laughs> just like tay all right guys let's talk about the mondo <laughs> false <laughs> let's not say we did <laughs> <laughs> we're psyching him out now he's we're in his head look at look at him look at his eyes <laughs> shut up shut up <clears throat>